Vera Maria back with another, another video. It's 3.35 p.m. It is January 23rd. This is a follow-up video from what I did this morning. And I know I was pretty pissed off this morning. I mean, I was kind of raging. And I just to let you know, I, I have laid on my bed, but I have not been able to get any sleep. So um, that was a few hours ago. So I'm just kind of wound up right now. And um, I was thinking about um, how... I have always felt since like leaving the farmer's place in 2013 um, that I have been kind of like um, hidden. Like I think a part of this, um, I don't know, uh, this twisted competition, one-sided competition is for um, me not to have any sort of recognition because I know that when I was working at my jobs every time I came up with an idea or whatever my shit was stolen okay <laughs> like you know people would take credit for my work or whatever um, they wanted to discredit me desperately they wanted to discredit me for everything um, and I will say that the people who who got behind this this for this talk I'm talking about the people at the very top of the pyramid who uh, made my life a living hell throughout my um, elementary school years and throughout my work life and so on and so forth they was they wanted to probably I see I wasn't realizing that they were contrasting me against this particular twin of mine or whatever um but I just knew that they were always constantly having these comparisons like if there was a girl in my office they would try to you know um create competition with her or or whatever you know what I mean and it just got tiring okay because they don't really value your life okay obviously everything that re that relates to um, gang stalking shows that people it's just like this need to um, exercise some sort of um, supremacy or some sort of bullying type tactics right so um, it's always been that way you know in, in, in all my situations so you know they want to keep you in this bubble they don't let you expand like I was complaining about my issues with like um, YouTube and um, how there was a time like in 2000 i don't know when when like the big campaign launch i'm um hate campaign launch i think it might have been like 2008 or something because i noticed weird stuff was going on at that time and um <laughs> and uh, and um you know slowly but sure like i would get like my people would call me consistently and then they started tapering off I would say like around 2011 2012 it started becoming really obvious like there's something going on about me around me like that's like some sort of hate campaign or whatever um, but they do they try to keep me um, they try to keep me um, demoralized they try to keep me silent they try to keep me um, whatever because they in their mind if you're trying to just survive if you're just trying to survive, if you're just trying to get up and go, and go to work every morning, that to them is some sort of game. Like they, they think you're challenging them. This is how warped this shit is, okay? So it's not about that. You know what I mean? I had no idea what I was facing. I just knew that these people were violating the laws, that I was trying to get a job and make a living. I had no idea that this was some sort of sick, twisted plot. I have no interest in, but... Uh, but that's what they do okay and so um you know i do thank the people who do subscribe to my channel and who do help me and support me um because it's been very difficult you know dealing with this issue and like you know i said sometimes when i think about how um how deep it goes and how sick it gets you know it it, it, it kind of just kind of makes me talk about it i have to talk about it you know what i mean because um, maybe some of the, some of these people like who are, who are my audience. And then there's some people who are a part of my celebrity soul tribe who know these people at the top of the pyramid personally. Okay. I don't know them personally. Now, maybe in a past life, I knew their ancestors personally, but I'm not comfortable with these people. Okay. Because that sort of behavior is inappropriate and it should have been stopped and nipped in the bud. I mean, I mentioned it. You know what I mean? I'm not comfortable with it. So whatever. Um, I'm not, you know, and I don't really know much about, you know, like I mentioned, like my real biological mother. It doesn't really interest me to like get into their business. I saw some pictures, like when I first started realizing, okay, this is who this is. And so I start looking and stuff like that. And I made a point to like reach out and connect on Instagram. Now I don't want to have anything to do with it. I don't want to do with it. I did want to talk a little bit about infiltration and how it works. 
um, you know, they'll use like, for example, if you have, um, let's just say, for example, you are living with your husband and you're living with your daughter. Okay. So what will happen is, uh, maybe one of your workmates will talk to your daughter behind your back and say, Hey, you know, we're doing this, 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 and this, you know, make sure you watch this and tell us what she's doing all the time. And they report back and forth. Some people don't think what they're doing. Um, is that's a big deal. Okay, but anytime somebody tells you to keep a secret from one of your family members, you need to be paying attention to that because it doesn't sound good. You know what I mean? Um, everything should be upfront and, and there shouldn't be any of this sort of like, um, you know, uh, this sort of manipulation and stuff like that because generally there's something very sinister behind it. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure that's how they got the ball rolling on my dad because I personally think that my mom... You know, she was taking him to all these doctor visits and stuff only so he can basically get implanted with Alzheimer's or some bullshit like this. Now, mind you, my mom didn't drive. But she wanted him to go to these, these doctor visits and stuff like that. I don't believe that he just ended up getting Alzheimer's unless, of course, it was induced by the high level of stress. Okay. But do I think that maybe he got Alzheimer's at a hospital facility? I wouldn't put it past them. Okay. Because this is how dirty these people are. So... I'm, you know, just kind of hanging out right now. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Try not to get angry, okay? I try not to get too angry. On my last video, I was just so explosive because, like I said, you know, there's no real trained therapist. If there was one, how do I know that they're not going to be talking to, you know, a perp? Because perps will portray. They were portraying in my, um, in a, um, what do you call it, a verbal type, uh, counseling session or some therapist set three therapist session that I was like um participating in many years ago so that I could try to get disability because I was thinking oh my gosh they're cutting off my income what am I going to do they do that from time to time they like to see you struggle they get off on it they enjoy it it's a part of the power trip you know it's this is one of the reasons why you know it's not that I, un I don't understand that people should have the things that they need and there's nothing wrong with having luxuries okay there's nothing wrong with that but some people who are in positions of power they use people as pawns and they enjoy moving them like on game pieces and they enjoy making them suffer they get off on it okay so this is what why i associate you know certain forms of wealth and status with demonic behavior because this is the kind of shit that they do you know what I mean? People can get to the point where they're, they feel like they're so up there that they, they just, they just feel like anybody who's not on that level deserves to be plowed down or should be mistreated, be looked down upon or whatever. And I kind of noticed that with some of the people that I worked with because they were a part of this network. It really did go to their head. Okay. Um, my goal in life is to never emulate what I see in society and it's not an act of rebellion it is a part of following a spiritual path that leads to what I consider enlightenment I, I think that behaving this way is absolutely mimicking uh, you know demonic horses is what I think and I don't ever want to be anything like that um I don't know I think I'm going to wrap this video up I did want to say something I am exhausted but you know I'm so exhausted that I really can't fall asleep I, I just feel like Still a little amped up and I'm trying to calm myself down, but I hopefully I'll get there at some point. I don't want to make this video too long. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say. Mm, nope, I don't think so. I think I'm pretty good for now. Um, hopefully I get some sleep and wish me well on that. Take care. Bye-bye.